everyone. Today I'm going to do a review of my bicycle, uh, which is a 26-inch Huffy Catalina uh, cruiser bike. Uh, now, right now, this this particular review is just going to go over uh, the bike itself. I'm not going to give my personal story. I'll do another video for that. Now, right now, I'm showing you the stock picture, and the reason why I'm doing that is that I wanted to, I've made a few modifications on my bike. I've had my bike for over a month now, and I've ridden it almost every day. And, um, and so, uh, it's, you know, I've ran into a fence once, and, uh, I, you know, I did some modifications. So, uh, it looks a little different than it does, um, uh, on the, you know, that, um, on the screen. Okay, so what I want to particularly have you notice is uh, how straight this is, how it looked originally, and then the seat. Uh, to notice how the seat is and how it's got all these springs and hardware under it. Uh, so that those are the two things that are probably uh, look different on my bike. Okay, and so this is what my bike looks like in real life. Um, I can't fit him all in the, the thing, uh, in the tablet camera. So, um, when I was going, when I was looking for a bike, uh, first, you know, I was actually just doing research, uh, initially. And, uh, for warning, uh, if you're, you're looking for a bike yourself, uh, you can't trust the bike charts. I don't know what type of people they were basing the bike charts on. Uh, you know, there are people that are kind of built like storks that wear their old legs and all that. I find that personally uh, the bike charts don't quite um, match a person up with the right size bike. They claim, for instance, that a person that's five foot one or over should be able to ride a 26 inch bike. And for that reason, I, I bought this bike, but um, I, the bike was actually a little too big for me, which is why I had to do some modifications. So there's a, that's a warning. Uh, they, they kind of are trying to, they seem to push a lot of times 26-inch bikes. And the reason why, from my understanding, is that 26-inch bikes are capable of bearing heavy loads. Uh, they're the ones that tend to come with cool features like the baskets and uh, at 24 inch bikes uh, they, they don't have the capabilities of carrying as much weight so they probably can't handle an adult size person so they um, they tend to push the 26 inch bikes for that reason. Also now with me I found that while 26 inch bikes are a little too big for me uh, the 24 inch is a little too small for me. I seem to be in between sizes and there's no such thing as a 25 inch bike. Uh, they claim that riding a bike that's too small for you can be bad for your knees. Now, uh, don't despair. There are actually some things you can do uh, to make a 26 inch bike uh, fit you. Now, what was I looking for when I was looking for a bike? I was looking for a bike that uh, was mainly meant for roads because pretty much right now I'm doing city uh, riding. So I wasn't planning on getting on dirt paths or anything like that. What was a really big thing for me though is I wanted a basket, preferably as big as possible, and I wanted a area on the back that could carry, uh, carry stuff. Because I, I was planning on using my bike to run errands and so forth. And of course, I you know, if I was riding long distances, I wanted to be able to uh, carry beverages so that I, you know, it may be a snack and anything else I might need. So um, that was why I, I really wanted a bike that had a basket and a, that, that part on the back. And I was looking at all the bikes uh, that are, in, are on the line, and I saw this one, and I instantly fell in love with him. So, uh, because of all the bikes I've seen, he has a huge basket. This is a really big basket. Um, 
it, it can carry up to 10 pounds in the front and it has a beverage holder as you can see um, and then of course it's got this area on the back which can handle up to 22 pounds so that it was just this was everything I wanted in a bike this bike is meant for people who want to do errands or you know on their bike because it can carry quite a bit I mean it would probably be great for students um, you know people who make trips you know do errands you know it's meant for that now it's a one speed bike um, so it's not it's if you have a need for speed uh, this bike isn't for you um, it um, The bike also has coaster brakes. Now, you, if you don't know what coaster brakes are, what they are is that when you're pedal, you pedal forward to make the bike go, and then when you want to slow down, uh, you uh, you pedal backwards, and that'll slow the that you know you you do a backwards motion on your pedals, and that'll uh, if you do it lightly, you can slow down the bike. If you do it if you you know do it hard you can stop the bike uh, totally uh, I don't have a problem with coaster brakes it's what I'm accustomed to uh, so I've never had a problem with them uh, the thing about coaster brakes though is that you know they don't stop on a dime and it depends largely on your own reaction uh, so you know but even when you uh, you know the bike will slide a bit forward uh, even after you hit the brakes, so you have to kind of take that into account. And then, of course, if you're a person that's easily startled, uh, another problem with coaster brakes is that sometimes if you get startled by something, uh, your feet can fall off the pedals, and, you know, so then sometimes stopping um, can be a problem. And uh, I don't know how it is with deep declines. Uh, when I when I encounter a really deep decline, I, I tend to get off my bike and walk it. Um, so um, th those are things that you have to take into consideration. When I was um, a first, I, I started riding my bike at 40 years old. I had ridden a bike when I was 8 years old, and then I went years without riding a bike. And I, I was really hoping that it was true that uh, you don't forget, which by the way, uh, you don't actually forget, but that doesn't mean that you don't have to relearn certain skills. I, I wasn't so good at turning. I, I had to kind of learn how to adapt to certain road conditions. And so during that learning process, that is how I one time wound up uh, crashing into a fence, and uh, which took off some of his paint. Uh, but, uh, you know, so I had to learn again. I have to admit, now this bike in some ways seemed a little, when I first had it, um, it was a little bulky. You know, he, it was kind of hard to maneuver the bike. As, as I'm getting better at riding. Uh, that isn't the case anymore. Um, he really didn't like, because he was meant for roads, he really didn't like getting dirty. He didn't like going off-road uh, off onto dirt or grass. I'm also finding he's doing better with that. Um, so, but, you know, he's actually meant, meant for paved surfaces. Now, uh, the modifications I did. The seat that he came with was very comfortable, but the problem was, excuse me, uh, the hardware elevated it so much that my my even I'm five foot four. I even when I put the post all the way down, my toes would still not touch the ground. By the way, Huffy does not recommend putting the post all the way down. I don't know whether it's a really a safety issue though, as much as that they claim the post will get stuck, which is true. The post did get stuck. It's stuck in there now, uh, but I needed the the seat to go down lower. So I lowered it all the way. Uh, what I did initially was I removed all the hardware of the seat that it came with and just put it flat on the bike. Uh, this wasn't a perfect solution, but it did allow me to ride the bike for a while. But the result was is that it wound up bending the back frame a bit. Uh, and of course it scratched the thing. So eventually, um, 
If you wind up with a 26 inch bike and you're too short for it, don't despair. There are actually some uh, solutions to it. My solution actually was, was to get a new seat. This is not the seat it came with. Uh, this is the Schwinn. It's a Schwinn seat I bought off Amazon. And I have a gel seat cover to kind of make it a little softer. And uh, I was able to put that on my bike post and my, pe my toes can touch the ground. So if you wind up with a bike that's too big for you, the first thing you might want to consider is getting a, uh, a new seat. And shopping for seats can be a little embarrassing because some of them make you look like, make you feel like you've just uh, walked into an adult bookstore or something, you know. But um, but uh, you can find a you, you the solution may be as simple as finding a new seat. Uh, there's some other things people have talked about getting smaller tires. I don't know if that would be very safe because, as I said, 24 inch tires are not meant to uh, carry a great load and uh, I think that could possibly be unsafe. So uh, changing the seat is one solution. I had also been looking at uh, some per more permanent training wheels, not the temporary sort. They do have adult training wheels. Uh, they have some that are specifically for people that are either overweight or who are elderly and need help and these are bigger, more sturdier training wheels. I didn't really want to do that because, I mean, if I was going to do that, I might as well get an, an adult tricycle. Uh, but that is one another solution. If you have the training wheels on and they touch the ground, then you don't have to worry so much about balancing. So those are at least two, I think, relatively safe solutions. By the way, uh, Huffy is a great place. Uh, excellent customer service. I had the bike for about two weeks and he lost a screw, uh, one of these back screws right here. And I, I wrote to Huffy and th th I've written to them several times asking questions. And, um, you know, I bought a, a display model and, they, and so it didn't come with a user manual. They sent me a user manual. Uh, I lost a screw and they sent me a screw for free. Uh, so they just have excellent, really excellent uh, customer service. Oh, another thing, uh, the screws on this bike uh, I find kind of are easy to strip. I highly recommend that if you get this bike, you have a socket wrench with several, uh, several uh, socket sizes. Uh, th this is really nice for removing uh, screws off the bike uh, without damaging them. So uh, to recap, uh, I love this bike because for one thing it has a great uh, storage, a bi really big basket. It has pretty good uh, weight capabilities and it is an excellent road bike. I mean it, well, I don't mean road bike, but, but I mean for paved roads, it's a great bike. Uh, I've went through slick roads, really horrible uh, uh, road conditions with cracks and dips. You know, that dip in the road that you don't think is too deep until you fall into it. Um, you know, today I, I wound up running over. I had no choice. I wound up running over an already dead road kill. Uh, you know, I've never fallen off the bike. The bike's never skidded. It's just, it's very reliable for the roads. Um, so I, I love it for all those reasons. So I hope you've enjoyed my review and stay tuned for more videos.